Welcome to U.S. Metal Podcast, and we have Anthony Drago, all the way from Rome, Italy, and he's the uh, owner of L.A. Riot Survivor Records, and uh, you put out a number of albums this year. Uh, what have you been doing since we talked last time? Hi, Matt. Hello to you and your viewers, first of all. And, uh, well, that's a, a very hard question. So many things. <laughs> It's been a while. It's good to see you again, first of all. Good to see you too. And how I've been, let's talk about the summer. I've been traveling. I've been in London for a few months, uh, taking care of music business, of the label, of many things. Then let's say I've been to the great festival in Denmark, Metal Magic. It's magic. And uh, yeah, I had a great time. Raven were playing so many great bands, such a nice environment, chill out people, uh, rock music, uh, many, many great bands, uh, friends. It's good to see friends. I haven't been there in a couple of years, so it was great to be there. And I, I really have to thank Martin, the organizer, because he's always having me as a guest. Even if I played there a couple of times, you know, they, they, they're, they're really good friends. And what else? I, then I went to Italy. Yeah, in southern Italy, in Puglia, which is a great place to be. It's a very famous uh, holiday de destination for the world. And uh, lots of music over there. And I've been rehearsing with my boys, Admiral, my new band, mm -hmm. and we've been playing, and I'm sorry, and I, I was attending festivals, a punk rock festival, and met another, the rock metal fest in Pulsano, which attracts a lot of uh, many young, young people, which is good for rock and roll. And uh, what else, what else recently? Ah, I just came back from uh, two days in Bari, which is the main city Right here is the capital of Puglia. It's a great city of music by the sea. And there, were, there has been the 10th anniversary of the hardcore punk metal festival here in Bari. So my friends were playing. Actually, I, was play, I, I play, performed there last year with a band called Mold as a guest. So I, it's always good to go there and many, many other things, uh, working on new music, new releases, and so on, and on, and on, and on. Yes, I, last time we talked, Stone Cold Black had just released uh, their record. I've been, I made some music videos for that album and put them on YouTube, and that's a great record. Have you, do you have any more releases that's, that's come out since then? Uh, not at the moment. I'm still pushing Stone Cold Black because uh, it's a very, very great album. I really believe uh, lots of people are enjoying this album. We also, it's also on YouTube and we have many, many views. And first of all, I, I want to thank you for all the support to this album because you've been interviewing our common friend, Korea Black, yeah. the man from the satanic men from Hamburg and Lübeck. And uh, I, that was a great interview. And thank you, Guy, for mentioning me. <laughs> Not in a bad way. I was you're, surprised. You're, you're the <laughs> reason we did it. And um, <laughs> yeah, I love those guys. It's a great band, man. They're like the best of, they're like the big four in one band all together. More, if they came to America, they'd probably do well. I believe so. They are a true old school, fresh band, the best tradition. And this album is a true masterpiece. I, I don't want to, you know, it looks like uh, I say this because I'm in, involved in the production, but actually this album is amazing. Each song, you, 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 you can remember each chorus and it's so good recorded. So big, big thanks to Schrody 
at Abstur Studio in Hamburg. As we know, Hamburg is uh, one of the capital capitals of the rock music in the world. So it sounds great, great attitude. It's a great comeback album. We're still pushing it. I'm, you know, you did a great job by interviewing Korea, by, by creating those videos. I'm really grateful. And also the guys from Stone Cold Black, I do believe. And yeah, I, re I really hope the band gets together for some gigs. You know, I yeah. think it's going to be a blast. And uh, also when I interviewed Korea, the uh, sound man for Iron Maiden was at his house. Yeah. Sound, the sound engineer for Iron Maiden was in the interview also. He was, yeah, I know this. Yeah. It was so funny. It was so funny. <laughs> they were two, three guys. And Korea is always a great, he has so many great stories to tell. He's a true rocker. His life is a true adventure. It's like a, it's like a movie, man. <laughs> we love him. He is like a movie. He's like an he's a movie. Movie. He's the Viking of metal. He, he told me, Matt, you're in Germany now. Here, him and Dirk, you're in Germany. You can do anything you want. And I found out that you cannot. <laughs> well, actually, you can. You can be in the street. You can sing loud uh, 6 a.m. in the on, in the morning. You had There's me at pee in the street. You had me at peeing in the street. I love to pee. I pee everywhere. I pee. I yes, peed the bed right. when I was a kid. <laughs> when I was hanging out with my friends in East Berlin, and they are true punks from you know from old school and lots of crazy things, so peeing everywhere. They were peeing all <laughs> in front of you know, every kind of places. And now, actually, you know, I come from Italy, which is a land that we. You are you can feel free to do most of anything, you know. It's um, but every every time I had many many experiences in Germany. First of all, with my ex band, the Fingernails, <clears throat> as a musician, meeting my friends, touring all over Germany. But I always had a good time. And I I also like the food which is weird to say from an Italian, which we are supposed to be the top country food in the world. But I like food in Germany. It's clean. The meat is good. Yeah. And uh, they, they like to drink and eat. Uh, it's uh, I, I never felt uh, constricted. I don't know. Maybe if this is a real English word, I don't know. I, I never felt uh, restricted. Restrict, restricted, constricted, it doesn't exist. Close, yes, it's close enough. Remember when we were in Hamburg and we did the boat tour of the harbor and then we went back to that Italian restaurant in Hamburg? Yeah, that was, yeah, yeah, definitely. The boat tour was something that yep. is uh, curved in my mind yes. because it was crazy on a sunny day in the canals of, um, oh, see, of Amsterdam, of Hamburg. Yes. And we went to the Italian restaurant. Uh, tell, me, tell me all about it, because I can recall. We got off the boat and we walked to the restaurant. All of us. Yeah. And uh, it was Korea's friend. He said, you know, we need seating for like 30. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And we, had, we sat outside and we ate pizza. It was, uh, it was great and drank. That was a great day. That was a great trip. I'm, which I'm, I'm better now. I need to go places. Hey, you uh, now you are, we take you to Europe. Let's do like, let's, let's, uh, you know, you just fly. We, we, we play for you. We play maracas, <laughs> we play violin, whatever you want. Me and Korea, I'm sure we're gonna do, made a, make up make up something for you. Anyway, let, while we're talking about this, may I show the the record? Super loud, super loud. This is licensed by my label, El Riot Survival Records, which is a UK company based in London. But this record is um, pressed. Uh, in uh, Germany, 
and it's amazing. Here's the band. It's a very good quality record and good quality printing. I have to thank also the artist, which it's very hard to pronounce. Uh, Hadsmot something. For, he's gonna, you know, I forgive me, but Hadsmot, uh, yeah. He has a weird name. He's a guy from Milano, anyway. <laughs> and I need also to thank Maria Teresa Bovino. She's the graphic designer. You can have all a fantastic. Oh my God! That was a great talk to the Korea. Yeah, I'm fantastic met... booklet with all pics and stuff. Yeah, he sent me the whole lyrics. thing. Yeah, Stone Cold Black. There you go. And let's see, uh, yeah, do you ever talk to Dirk? Yes, uh, once in a while we chat a little bit online. You he know, was... Dirk is a great man. I remember when he invited me uh, to the Rock Tower Festival, where, where I met Raven the first time. And uh, I... there, there, actually there are videos, there, are, there is a report, a video report of that. There I... is Dirk and lots of bands. It was funny, man. I and booked Dirk. Paul Diano for them. I was talking to Paul Diano on MySpace, and he said, it says, if you want to book my band, get a hold of me. So I just said, okay. And I contacted him, and it was a guy. It was Paul Diano. And he says, I can't come to America because I was, I had a little incident with a couple of kilos of cocaine and a Uzi machine gun. <laughs> And wow. so I said, because I can go anywhere else. I said, my friend is putting on a festival in Germany. Is I can go to Germany, and uh, they would probably love to have you. And Dirk was there's a picture of him and Dirk together. Dirk had his smile as big as his face. That's great. I'm glad I could help that. Paul's a great guy. I oh, I, I, hang, I I hanged out with Paul, Korea, and Dirk in the. Oh my God, my English today is, uh, let's say, in the in at the festival, at the Rock uh, Tower, backstage, backstage, we were hanging out, and also I interviewed Paul Diano. It's a very, it's a really weird interview. It was more like a joke. We were laughing all the time, <laughs> and Paul Diano used to call me, "Hey, you borracho," <laughs> which he supposed was Italian, but borracho means. Uh, you, you like uh, you, you buzz drink, drinker, but it's <laughs> Spanish. So I told him, Paul, you're Italian. Borracho is a Spanish word. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a cool guy. <laughs> they had, uh, that, that, that had uh, Neil Turbin's uh, Death Riders, right? And Vicious Rumors also. Neil Turbin which we played together with Wild Dogs, Fingernails, then in the other festival in St. Yes. Pauli, in Hamburg. But they were on Rock Tower, and I think Ambitious Rumors was there because uh, I was talking to Jeff Thorpe, and after that festival, he said, we need a new singer. And I said, I have a guy that can sing as good as Carl. And he said, I don't believe it. And I said, here, I'll give you some video links, and if you want his phone number, call me back. And he called me back within 20 minutes, and the singer was Brian Allen, who is now playing. Yeah. He was then with, he was with British Rumors for like five years, and then um, or more actually. Then he now he's playing with Cliff Burton's old band called Trauma. Trauma. They're in Europe right now. Yeah. You know, wow. Cliff Burton from Metallica? Yeah, 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 of course. The band that he was in before was called Trauma. They put a record out on the label that Wild Dogs was on after oh, Cliff was gone. I don't know them, but uh, he's in Europe right now, actually. Okay. He's a cool guy. He used to have Fantastic. super short, short hair. We did a, a British Steel uh, Judas Priest tribute, so he had short, really short blonde hair. Now he's grown his hair out and got a long beard. <laughs> Doesn't even look the same. Yeah, I mean, it's perfect. Uh, it's like uh, Rob Helford, young and older. I have long hair now. Yeah, I, I just cut my hair recently, so it's okay. 
This is my COVID hair. But, no, really COVID like hair. but this is mine. <laughs> this is my f- football hooligan hair. Uh oh. <laughs> like, like Marco Van Ampel. Marco wow. Van Ampel. I know you interviewed Marco. Yeah, he's a soccer hooligan. Interview. He's in New York right now. I know. Marco is, is so. I love him. Very often in the U.S. Him and Mark Blankenberg, and yeah. I think their fathers both went to go see a New York Mets game in New York. Yeah, uh, they they love they love sports, and they they usually go to U.S. and sometimes to U.K. And let me tell you, I, um, last year I was living in London in front of the Tottenham Stadium, and uh, sometimes. They have, I, they have NFL matches once per year or twice per year, and the, the Vikings from Minnesota were playing. Oh, wow! I love the Vikings because, you know, I, I, even if I spend part of my youth in the old school LA, Los Angeles, then I move to Minneapolis. Minneapolis, how they say? Yeah, and to the great state of Minnesota. So I have great friends there, and I love the Minnesota Vikings and Prince. Prince, and it's Prince. called uh, Prince the Minneapolis from... Sound, right? All right. the funky music from Minneapolis, the time, Alexander O'Neill, Prince, uh, the that great bass player Graham something and uh, Larry so Graham. many bands. Larry Graham, he played with Sly Stone. La- yeah, and, and then Minneapolis is also good for uh, alternative <laughs> hardcore music. Uh, uh, Husker Du? Oh, I thought, they were hmm? from, I thought they were from the Northwest. I don't know, I think, uh, maybe I'm wrong, but I thought they were, they came from the Twin Cities, St. Paul and Minneapolis, actually. Oh. What a great place. I've never and been the there. food is great. I love the food in the Midwest. It's the best food in America, in I the call, United States. I call it the gravy belt because I went <laughs> in Chicago, they have gravy on everything. <laughs> yeah, that's not far from Chicago, you know, as I told you in the last interview, we drove from Minneapolis to Chicago and to see the Grateful Dead. So it was like eight hours driving, seven hours. Yeah, but once you got there, time didn't matter. Yeah, time, <laughs> time, what? no, that's money. Money don't matter tonight, no, the timeless something. <laughs> I was looking for a for a song with the word time. I like the Grateful Dead. I've never seen them, but I listen to their music. I, I love five of their songs. I need a miracle every day. <laughs> yeah, actually, what you they are like is the whole concept that is interesting. You yeah, know, it, it's it's an event. Besides, it's them, the visual, the music, the tradition, the legacy as you say, and all the vibe and also your, your state of alteration your, at the moment, you know, at the concert. With John, <laughs> with the, the, the guitar, highness. John Mayer is playing guitar and he's awesome. You know, yeah, they, uh, I mean, you can't really same. replace Jerry Garcia, but this comes close. So yeah. the, your new band, Admiral, does it have a record out or are you close to that? <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have a record out, but I'm working on it and I'm really close to that. I had uh, a longer schedule than I thought, be- also because of all my, all my, all the things I had to take care of with my label traveling. So the rehearsal w- went a bit more further than I thought, but we, we have a great, great album. I wrote all the songs in London, uh, like, uh, you know, I took ideas for each day, living day, you know, everyday life, everyday life. And I have this, uh, yeah, we have a great record. Uh, Hopefully, before the end of the year, we enter the studio. 
Okay, uh, you told me you were interested in my releases, so I got some stuff to show you from my label, El Rayo Survivor Records. So first of all, we had Stone Cold Black, which is the last last one. Yes. Guys, please, if you're interested, go to our distribution distributors or come to our website, elirayosurvivor.com. And then you, you ask me about Admiral. So Admiral actually had the first release, which as you know, is the Raven Tribute. Here I have the vinyl. It's also on CD Digipack. And this is the beautiful vinyl, all for Raven, which features 12 amazing bands from all over the world, from Abigail Japan, Martyr Holland, Sacred, Sacred Steel, and so many others band now. I don't want, and I want to show you, this is a great release. Still few copies available, people. So hurry up. You don't find this no more. It's a limited edition, white wax vinyl, Raven. And also my band, Admiral, is on this record. And I sing along with Mr. John Gallagher from Raven itself. What song do you do? Live at the Inferno! My friend Buko took the uh, inside, you know, on that record, Live at the Inferno. When he opened it up, my friend Buko took that picture. Super. Yeah. Ah, the famous picture with the Waco throwing... With the fire. The people, the people in New York. With the fire. No, it's in Portland. Ah, important. I, I didn't know it was important. Amazing, amazing. That's, that's, that picture is history, man. When I was a kid, I was looking at this picture. I was mesmerized. I said, wow, this is great. Oh, this yeah, we great. played with them on that tour. And uh, yeah. they had ramps, and they were, they were the headliners, and Anthrax was the middle band, and Wild Dogs was the opener. Cool. Wild Dogs is amazing. I'm starting up a, a band that's, uh, because I'm getting so much action on my ravers music. Ah, the ravers. I'm going to yeah. start up a band that does ravers and a couple of wild dog songs and some new stuff. Are you getting back in action? Hmm? Are you getting back in action live? Yeah. But I'm not gonna, it's not going to be a metal band at all. I can't do that. I can't okay. sing like that. Okay. Anyway, last time you were asking me about my releases, my personal releases as an artist. Yes. Not only today we're talking about my label, El Rayo Survival Records, but I forgot to mention that this is actually my new album, which is weird to say. This is my new release from Ace Records from Rome, and this is Fingernails. And here we were, the original lineup, the the International Year's lineup with Angus, Anthony Dragon vocals, Carlo El Charlo on fucking drums, and Big Richard. And this is amazing. They just came out, thanks to the label who sent me all the copies, Ace Records Roma, and there's all the history of things. It's a live concert that we did in Milano, Milano years ago. It was called Hard Rock. Hard rock art festival. There were great bands like Bulldozer, Assassins, Razor, and Marduk, Raw Power, Us. That was crazy. And this is a great, this is probably fingernails at their best uh, shape, you know, live. This is the best concert, recorded concert you can ever get from the history of fingernails. And it's and Angus. Angus played uh, guitar in the Mentors on their last tour. Okay, okay. Actually, this is the fabulous four pieces lineup that ruled Europe for years and years, which I was the lead singer. And here I am. And so I wanted, I forgot to tell you, it's not on my label, but I gotta thank the label because it, this just came out a couple is of that, months ago. Is that available ago. in America? Excuse me? Is it available in the USA? I think so. I don't know. You gotta ask the label. It's on uh, cassette, CD, and vinyl. Uh, the label was so kind to send me all the copies. 
and uh, I, I think you can get it uh, on the on the web. I don't know. You gotta ask them. It's not my release. It's not Eli Riot's survival record. This was a classic album from Fingernails, which I co-released with my label with Eli Riot's survival records and the famous High Roller Records from Germany. So this was a best-selling album of Fingernails back uh, in 2012. Alles verboten, which in Germany means uh, everything is banned. And it sounds good, uh, you know, it's, you were talking about those things coming up in America, which we hope that it doesn't happen, but Alles verboten, that's, <laughs> and you can find it still on my label, on my website, and I gotta tell you, it's uh, impossible to find. I have the very, very last copies, and I found out on a website in uh, in England they were they were selling this for seventeen seven seven zero pounds on one website. So it's very hard to find. It went sold out. It sold uh, thousands of copies. We were on tour for two years. I was the guy, you know, organizing the tours and managing it was. A, Really hard work, but it paid off. And so this is Alles Verboten, yeah. And you can find it on my label. Hurry up, because those are the last copies and they are very collectible item value, you know? So I wanted just to show you those vinyls. The, the, my, you know, the All For Raven tribute was really hard work. Uh, it took me five years of hard work to collect. And I really have to thank all the band, all the people involved. I show it again. And uh, Raven, of course, they were. The Don't best, forget you know. the, the Motorhead tribute that compilation. My friend. I was on. We are at the market here. What you want? Uh, tomato, zucchini. Here we go. This is Wild Dogs on the motor attribute still available on my label this is called all gone to hell and it's a international motor attribute there are featuring so many bands wild dogs is one of the best cover ever what was the song killed um, by death killed by death yeah and there's many 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 bands now i i don't want to say tell the name of the bands because I probably forget half of them and it won't be fair. So if you go on my website, elirayotsurvivor.com, you can find, you can see some videos. Each, each release, you can hear music and all the infos are there. There's a page for each release and artist. So this is amazing. So Look let's, at get, the artwork. Let's, let's get this straight. Your, your website is riots. LA Riot Survivor dot com or LA Riot no. Survivor Records dot com. No, no, no. The the label is named LA Riot Survivor Records because I am a, actually I was in LA during right. the riots. But their website is just called uh, LA Riot Survivor dot com. Okay. No records. It's simple, okay. you know, right, for okay. the people. LA Riot Survivor. I'll put you that can up. find us. Okay, great. Here we here we are. But this is amazing, and I gotta thank Baron Judas from so, Sunglasses After Dark who did the cover back in the day. It's a great concept, you know. And this was pre-COVID, so <laughs> it's so funny because when I look at it now, I I think about COVID, you know, motorhead. Of, uh, nuclear warfare and COVID and something, you know, it's crazy. Yeah, that was that was weird. I anyway, remember. this is a great release, guys. If you want it, you can have it on our website. And Matt McCourt is on this great record. Also, Evil Invaders, many, many other bands. So, I, I have more stuff to show you. I'll be happy to, but you tell me. You want to see something? Let's, let's, I show you something amazing. The best band from Hollywood in 1991. I was living with them. They were signed to Warner because they were the greatest band with the great, great, bigger follow 
mostly screaming girls. There are videos online, and they release a great album with uh, Warner Brothers called Liquor and Poker before they disbanded because of grunge, or, you know, Nirvana, all the stuff. And but the greatest song of the, uh, this band, uh, which all the girls and boys were singing loud in the clubs, in the Gazaris, the Troubadour, all those concerts, which I, 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 I've been there, you know, each concert. And those songs were not included by Dana Starm on the, on the Liquor and Poker album, which is a great album. So I was such a fan and I decided to reprint years ago their, their first demo where all those famous songs are, like uh, Southern Mistreader, uh, Memphis Road, which for me is one of the greatest ballads of all time, uh, Cold Shadow Water, all those bands, and here we go. Ladies and gentlemen. Sister Whiskey. Sister Whiskey from Hollywood, the greatest Southern rock band from the 90s, the best. Dennis Duncan on vocals, it's amazing. Um, Dom, Dom Tyler, um, Jack Aurora, and uh, yeah, oh my God, what's the name of the drummer? He's gonna, he's gonna kill me. Anyway, this, this is a true gem. We sold uh, so many of these. This is Sister Whiskey, contains their four four track demo plus three live song recorded actually on Sunset Strip at the best clubs of the era. And this is amazing. If you like Southern rock, hard rock, old school, this was the best band in LA at the time. And you know, Sister Whiskey, yeah. Cool. Let's go on with uh, this is a very rare compilation that we used to give out for free attached to magazines. It came out in, with magazines from New York, from Poland, from Portugal and, and from Italy. So it was kind of a free album to promote the label. Now I saw on this course that it's so so rare and so I didn't know it was just back then we just did this for promotion and now it's very valuable you know because there are a few around it's this is we don't actually we don't sell this it's out of stock uh, I think you sent me one of those when you sent probably. the motorhead yes of course you're on it of course ah this is, a brand, this is a new release, which came out right before Stone Cold Black, Super Loud. It's a trio from London, which I discovered in the shady streets of London. And it's called Wounded, Not Dead, The Alchemist. This is a great album. This band is great. They play a kind of death metal fusion. That's what they call themselves, space, space death metal fusion. It's a great death metal, but with weird stuff and it's, with fusion. it's amazing. So, <laughs> it's death metal it's with fusion. <laughs> yeah, death metal with fusion. They call themselves space, uh, space death metal. Anyway, this is Wounded Not Dead. If you guys are interested, you can find it also on my website or some distributor in Germany and Holland, which are my classes. But if you don't find it there, get on our website. And if you love that metal, not the common stuff, this is the band for you. Wound not dead. Yeah. So I'm having fun tonight with all those records, man. You gotta <laughs> stop me. <laughs> okay, yeah. let's see. Um, stop, let's... stop. <laughs> so you can you can see all these albums on LA Riot Survivor dot com, and yeah, the yeah. name should be on the screen the whole time we're talking. So hopefully people will come up and say, "Hi, Anthony, we saw you on Matt's show. Give us some free records." <laughs> Why? 
<laughs> it depends. Uh, well, we are always happy to exchange. Hey, my sales have they been... send me a cold beer, no problem. My sales have been kind of slow. How about yours? I mean, you know, Spotify is really kicking ass for me. Spotify? Oh, yeah. Spotify and iTunes, all the streaming. It's, uh, I mean, I'm getting thousands of views and thousands of plays, but hard CDs, it's, uh, it's been. So, what you mean? What you mean, Matt? What you mean? CD sales for me have been slow, but the Spotify downloads and iTunes downloads and all the 300 sites our music is on. But my 20, I've got 48 albums out now. Yeah, I know. They're uh, those are all getting like a, a lot of plays. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you. You know, all our releases are also on digital platforms, also on Spotify. Um, my personal music should be also there, but I don't have much control of my music on Spotify, to be honest. I, I don't. It doesn't thrill me. I prefer more physical copies. But we do. Each time we have a release, we we it's also available on digital. So. Um, no problem, but I'm glad you have a good score with that. I'm I'm actually really happy with uh, CDs and record sales. I notice, you know what? That in Japan, even if you sell vinyls, most of people love love CDs. In Japan, we sold many CDs. In Europe and America, or a little bit in, in South America, it's more about vinyls. But in Japan, they love CDs. So we we had we sold we sold many CDs in Japan. So, but actually, you know, we we are also in digital. But I'm not so maybe I'm not so into it. So I uh, I'm cannot. I'll tell you that my Spotify is exploding with my music because uh, I just put other artists. I, you can barely find my music on Spotify, but I I always place my artist and push. Also, Bandcamp is good. We have a Bandcamp. We have SoundCloud and all the rest of platforms. You know, from from TuneCore, we spread it all over. You know. Every time there is an album, I release the physical copies and the digital copies. Throughout TuneCore, I spread it all over on all platforms. So I'm set. Well, we got about five minutes left here. Oh, my God. That yeah, was so talked fast. For an hour, yes. So, um, wow. Yeah. <laughs> it, it happens. <laughs> So, okay, uh, what well, else to show you? You can find a whole bunch of music here. All my Fingerness catalog, Fingerness first album, which is, you know, is a true classic. The second one, Hell and Back. Oh my God. Hell and Back, which is a classic now. And the super classic, Destroy Western World, which <laughs> is, this is one of the most successful album together with Alice Verboden of Fingerness. And also Elisa Over. Elisa Over, let me tell you, Elisa Over, she, she's a singer from Speed Kills, which I produce. It's a, a super metal band from, from Italy. She's a front, uh, front woman, but she's also into acoustic. So this is her first debut. Elisa Over leaves in blood. And she just released her new one. She's releasing a new one, which is not on my label, but I like to promote it. It's called Nutshell. So look for it because she's amazing. She she can blow your mind with heavy metal and with acoustic music. And then I have many, many. Please go on the website to, to check for more bands, you know, because it's too much to show. Uh oh, it's a... Someone is calling you. It's, it's that famous... Rockstar named Spam Risk. Spam Risk. Oh, yeah. Uh, we had a drink last night. Yeah. 
I get a lot of spam calls. It's because I'm turning yeah, 65. Nice. Spam risk is my... Wow, it's a good name for... Be, yeah, it wouldn't for, be a great for, name. For a band. <laughs> Maybe that's what I should call my next Hello, thing. people. We are Spam Risk and everybody. <laughs> everybody <laughs> will. Yeah, I thought of that too. <laughs> I keep getting it. Anyway, Matt, I thank you for the interview. Thank uh, you, and then me. Thank you for thank thanks to your viewers and thank you for supporting the scene and First of all, I'm really happy that you want to come back to Europe and play. So we're going to have some fun, man. We're going to get, we're, we're going to do something, make up something. Huh? Yes, I have to get my passport done first. And uh, I'll Please see what do it before Trump goes on charge so you can escape and, <laughs> and move to Amsterdam, you know, and uh, enjoy and smoke and fly and go to Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you you gotta have your passport ready because in whatever happens you can come to Europe and let's hope we, we And drink that. and drive fifty five. Well I can drive I can drive I can drive fifty five, but I my other you know, I just wrote a song for the new album and it's uh, one line goes like drink and drive at ninety nine. <laughs> okay anthony thanks for coming on u.s metal podcast and uh i'll get this up here and uh i'll email you or message in let you know what's going on and thank you for showing up and thank you for watching out there and uh, go to la riot survivor.com for all of anthony's great releases including stone cold black super loud that's a great album and uh We'll talk later. We'll see you later, my friend. You take care. Rock ciao. on. Ciao, ciao. Ciao.